Hello everyone. Today, in this video, i like to talk about how to heal from self-hatred. Healing from self-hatred. First up, do you hate yourself? Do you have reasons to hate yourself? Or you just hate yourself for no reason? Whichever one it is, it really doesn't matter if you really get tired of hating yourself and ready to heal and move on. The first step of healing is to bring awareness. Are you aware that you hate yourself? Are you aware of yourself when it happened? Are you aware of how you express the feeling of hatred? Self-denial also is a form of self-hatred. Lack of self-care is yet another form of self-hatred. Lack of self-love is also another form of self-hatred. Do you look to yourself or you look to others for the answer, for instance? These are all clues for you to find, find out how you feel about yourself or what you think about yourself. What if you say, you are aware of how you hate yourself and you have a list of reasons go on and on to justify your feelings for it. Is that good? Is that enough good reasons for you to hate though? Do you know how many mistakes a person can make over a lifetime? Have you ever met anyone who never made any mistakes in their lives? Do all children make mistakes? Should everyone hate themselves every time a mistake happen? What would the world be like if we keep on hating? Soon we won't have enough time left to do anything else but hate. Hate won't help you make better decisions next time around. By understanding and learning from your mistakes, look at your past decision to see what went right and what went wrong. Gaining some knowledge, perceptive, perspective, and compassion can help you avoid repeating the same mistakes. Sometimes we are victims of duality. We may make different decisions when we are not in the heat of the situations. So, when we judge ourselves so hard, we, it really doesn't make too much sense when we get too, too serious and um, we may not be right. Um, on the opposite end, for someone who hates himself or herself, doesn't even know why this is the why this this is the thing why why he or she hate herself or himself this is most likely from growing up in the unloved unsupportive environment in this case try asking yourself why would you hate yourself who told you that What's why? Try to see where are these hatred origi originating from. And you might be surprised or you maybe already know about it, but maybe it's time for you to really look at it. Once you have the awareness, you can learn to break the patterns 
and allow the healing, healing process to begin. You can start by not adding any more hatred, then working on neutralizing uh, the hatred feelings that you already have. If your action hurt someone else, try to make amends, at least in your, in your own mind, in your soul and spirit, by admitting to yourself, accept that we make mistakes through our poor judgments and actions. Allow yourself to feel grief, anger, pain, frustration. You may even cry if you have to. Let your inner self to release and express the feelings, which will allow you to move to the next stage, state of calmness and to soothe and to heal. Forgiveness is the key in letting go of the old uh, feelings and the, the past. If you find yourself still can't forgive and try asking yourself why you can't, what's stopping you, what would it take for you to forgive? This may be a remnant of your inner child, your remnant of your childlike behaviors um, that maybe it's just a habit, a learned habit that you haven't um, bring it up and, and heal that part of you. What past? Let them be the past. The past is over, and we can only live in this now moment. Let the past go. Set them free. Choose to forgive as a passage for your own freedom. Free from guilt, pain, shame, and sorrow. Remember that you are a child of God and he wants you to live a happy and joyful life. Let all the hatred go and begin to return to loving yourself again. You are worthy and worthy to be loved. Well, that's it. I hope uh, you're the best in your journey, in your own healing. And I hope this video uh, gives you some insight and some useful information that you can use. And um, I hope you enjoy this video um, I, as I enjoy making it. And um, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Much love and blessings to you. Bye now. See you next time.